All right, guys, here I've got a couple of the uh, Louver Buddies that we've been making and um, selling for a couple of months now. Uh, they've been really popular. Um, actually been having a bit of trouble keeping up with making enough of them. Uh, but in this video, I just want to talk about a couple of things, um, things that we've sort of learnt. Um, we'll start off with um, pulling them apart. So what I mean by that is there seems to be a tendency when people see these, the first thing they want to do and they really shouldn't do is grab the ends here and then they try and pull it apart. Um, we had a customer the other day that did that and almost immediately broke it. So um, it is plastic. It is designed to be as lightweight as possible. Um, so I can make it, uh, you know, thicker and more sturdy. It's going to make it heavier. Thanks a lot, truck, for that noise. Um, but it's it's really designed to to stay like this and not be pulled apart um, now that's another thing is how to get the pad in and out so i'm actually going to demonstrate that now but yeah again just try not to pull this apart it's really designed to be able to slide onto the louvers and off really easy um, but yeah you don't you don't need to you know squeeze on it or pull it apart um, ever even to get the pad out or in so to get that out it's pretty simple um, you just pull this end off here. And the way I was doing it um, before is actually getting something down in there to separate the, you know, the, the pad from the uh, from the, the Velcro. Um, but you can actually just kind of peel it over at like a 90 degree angle and that'll actually pull the pad out that way and then you can get it out like that. So, I really recommend just leaving the pad in there like this. Um, it will get dirty, obviously, um, but I just tell all our customers that I see face to face to just blast this out with a hose to, to flush out as much um, of that debris, dirt, all that kind of stuff. But um, if you do pull it out or if the pad eventually gets worn out, these pads typically last quite a long time. Um, then yeah, it's not too hard to replace. The other reason is, um, you know, it's plastic and um, you know, the, the, the adhesive backing on the Velcro is good, but constantly taking the pad on and off can really, um, you know, degrade that. Plus it's living in water a lot of its life and soap. So we're trying to help the Velcro last as long as possible. And, you know, Velcro was never made to be, um, you know, living in water, um, soapy water a lot, but Hey, it's not too hard to replace it if it ever does come up. So, um, how do we put the pad back in? Well, it's actually pretty easy and you need um, basically the pad and a piece of paper will work fine. So the way that I do it, it's got an old piece of paper here. So you want to fold your pad in half nicely like that. And then I just wrap the pad up like this. And that way, the Velcro won't grip onto the pad as we're putting it into the louver buddy. So what you can do is just simply slide it in the side here. And then you want to kind of line it up so it's so it's even. And you can kind of guess, like I can see that that's, that's pretty even down this side here. And it looks pretty even on the top. And then I kind of just push the pad up to the end. And then I just go to something simple like a screwdriver. And then you can put it, put the screwdriver through the uh, the loop of the pad. And I use that to, to hold it up here. And just, I slowly will pull, that didn't help, just pull this paper out. And you can see it starts to reveal the pad. And you can check, I'm basically wanting to see just blue on either side and not too much of the white pad. I slowly pull that off and if I need to you can you can adjust the, the pad around just to make sure that the pad is sort of uh, nice and centered on the on the holder there and after doing this a couple hundred times I can get pretty good at it and then you just peel the end over there and you got your pad on sometimes I like to just run a screwdriver down just to make sure that the the pads gripping onto the velcro but it's very secure now um, and that's yeah basically how you can put the pad back in, put a new pad in there if you need to. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's better just to leave the pad in there, blast it out with a the hose to clean it out regularly. Eventually you'll need to replace it, but 
um, yeah, that won't be very often at all. The, uh, the last thing that I really want to touch on is heat. So uh, you really want to be careful that you don't leave this lying in the sun. Um, if your car's really hot, try and leave it in a cold area. Um, we've seen, I think we've seen one so far that, that actually got a little bit hot. And it would take quite a bit to get this hot enough to 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 the point where it actually bends. Um, this particular filament that we use to print is called um, PLA, um, and it melts at I think what was it 215 degrees. Oh, that's what we printed at. Um, but it does take less heat than that to to deform it. But just as as you know, a simple thing to keep in mind. It's just don't leave it in a hot spot. Um, it is plastic construction. Um, it is 3D printed, but that allows us to make a tool that makes louver cleaning really fast for a cheap price. If we were to have this molded and uh, inject, like molds made for this, injection molded or whatever kind of molding it would need to be, the initial cost is enormous. Um, so the fact that we can make this with a 3D printer and keep these you know relatively affordable the amount of time it cuts down on your job it's definitely gonna um, you know pay off very quickly um, with just that time savings so again just don't don't be pulling this thing apart leave the pad in there as long as you can and just don't leave it in hot areas and these things will last you a long time we've had a lot of really good feedback from customers that um, have been using these on the job and they make scrubbing louvers really really quick um, there's some times where louvers may be especially dirty and you need to use something that's a bit more aggressive, but for, you know, most uh, louver cleaning jobs out there with it's just, uh, just regular dirty louvers, these work really, really quick. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. And, uh, if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. You can always give us a call at the shop or, um, or send us an email and uh, we'll see you in the next one.